All right, first things first is we got to get your fan page set up. So uh, if you can, what I would recommend is you watch this video and then open another tab and do this process uh, as I show it to you. It'll, it'll help. So pause the video, do, do the first part of what I'm showing you, then you know restart it and go back and forth. That's what I've always done to learn and to set things up uh, without having to go through and do it a bunch of times, okay? So first off, we're gonna go through here and I'm gonna show you how to set up your page properly, uh, give you some suggestions, how to optimize it, uh, make sure that it functions correctly. And first and foremost, before we even start a page, I do not want you to start with your current brand or business as if this is your first page you've ever set up. I want you to set up a dummy page, something that you can test and destroy and make mistakes with, and then we will get to your real page, okay? Because you don't want to put a whole bunch of time into something and realize that you set it up incorrectly, you gave it the wrong title and all that because you can't go back and change a lot of these things. Most of the things you can edit, but quite a few things you cannot. So let's uh, let's go ahead and jump right into this. So first things first is you're gonna to have to identify who you are, what you are, or what you propose to do from a business standpoint. And that has to do with, you know, you're gonna, uh, when you click on create the page. Uh, the create the page is basically found up here in the top right corner under the little tiny drop down arrow. You can see that and it'll say create a page. So that, you know, occasionally some of this stuff changes on Facebook, but this, this process seems to have stayed uh, fairly uh, stable and, and consistent, okay? So once you've gone there and you've, you've come to this page, okay, so we're gonna jump right into this, you create a page, identifying who you are, you probably should already know that, whether you're a ministry, a local business, a uh, you know, pizza shop, um, a networker, a person who's looking to you know, create their own personal identity, their own brand, whatever it might be, go through and do this. And again, we're doing this as a demo, so just kind of come close to what your demo is going to be. Now I'm going to set up a, a dummy church website. This is uh, this this is something that'll be easy, and you know it, it'll just give you the examples of where we need to go. So now that we've identified that, we're going to click on. I'm not going to consider it a local business. I'm going to consider it an organization. So I'm going to click on this, and now that I'm with my organization, it's going to actually it's going to ask me a few things. It's going to ask me to choose a category. And you'll notice when you click the drop down, it's going to give you a whole bunch of examples. And let me see if I can uh, just go through here. And I'm going to just choose cause. Okay, so we're, we're trying to get the ministry out. That's a cause-based initiative. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put the company name in here. Um, I think I my demo is going to be uh, City Church Group. Okay, so I, you just type it in, whatever, whatever it's going to be, and then get started. Okay. Now, um, what I typically do, or you could do ahead of time before you set your page up, is do a Word document or pull up something that you type with and put a lot of these things in here. Understand you can go back and change them, so you know whatever, but uh, if you wanna do that ahead of time, if you're one of those real efficient people, you can do that. Okay, so let's go in here and let's uh, set up the City Church Group because this is gonna ask me about. Now, real important that you understand this, the more information that you put in all of these categories and these areas, even if you don't know them now, but eventually you will have to put them in, uh, will give you more relevance and more Facebook love is what I would like to call it. Because then they know that you're serious and it's a real website and it's a real group and so on. Because so the more detail you can put on there, especially as we get to the advertising portion of this, they'll give you more uh, love, again, if you put the right relevant information. So. We're going to go in here and add our description. Um, this page is about the city church group and its services. Okay. And then I might have my own website, city church group.com. Put that there. And then if you want, you can put your not taken it will be on there okay and I'll click save info and boom I'm uh, I'm done at that point okay now now we're just gonna set up profile picture very simple simple you can upload it from a computer or you can upload it from a web website so if you already have a website uh, I think you can just right click or it'll ask you how to do that or I'll pull some images but I'm gonna just upload it from a computer and I'm just gonna pull up some of the things I made a couple ahead of time to save some time here I think this is it, City Church Group. 
this is going to be the profile picture. Profile picture is the tiny thing, the tiny image uh, that, that you, you know, the little tiny thing that's going to go through your feeds. It's not the big one on the page, okay? Now I go to next. Add to favorites. Uh, you can see that you can do this to add to favorites. And what this would do is it would add to my favorites, my, my personal page, Michael Healy. So if somebody's going there, they would see that on there. You can add it or not, okay? There's a lot of these you can skip, okay? And then I skip preferred audience. Uh, now, you know, depending on who you're targeting, this is real important. And obviously, I got some trainings out there. If you have seen some of them or haven't, we can always find them for you about identifying your target audience because not everything appeals to everybody, right? You typically don't sell, uh, you know, puppies to people that don't like dogs and stuff like that. I don't know why that was the reference I jumped in my head. But anyhow, identifying who your audience is is real important, okay? So what I would do then is uh, my audience, uh, you know, could be in a location. Now what's, what's nice is in, in a lot of these areas, you can see that you can put it in by, uh, let me see if I can blow this up. You can add a country, state, region, city, or postal code. So I live in uh, Westerville, Ohio. My, my church is gonna be Westerville, Ohio. Oop, I got spelled right, right? And it'll give you what they might be, and I click on it, and I'm gonna drop it back down, and it's going to basically show that this is, now here's the thing, is this is just, um, once you set this up, Facebook may make suggestions based on this criteria you set up to other business uh, to other people in that location that fit some of the criteria you're putting here and they do it for free okay so this is kind of a cool thing that facebook will set up for you automatically and so if i wanted to add other locations i, I could but we're just going to stay within a 25 mile radius people are you know they can drive 25 miles to get to church if they need to um, my age category is probably going to be in the adult range 18 to 65 you can drop it down to 13 um, you know, and maybe if you have a youth group or something like that, I would do that. Uh, gender is going to be all. Now, interests. Um, when you click on interests, and this this is kind of cool. This will identify exactly uh, what the people you're targeting may already be interested in. So, if I'm just just now launching my uh, my my church, my ministry, what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe put in, um, you know, if it's a let's say it's a Christian ministry, I'm going to put. Christian in here, right? Chris, Christianity, Christianity. Okay, see how these these automatically come out, come up. Christianity. So you will see that there's 28 million people that designate themselves uh, that or have some association with Christianity. If I click that, that's going to help me to do that. Now you can continue to add um, other things, and a lot of these have to do with pages, or but mostly. Um, uh, I guess uh, analytics that, that Facebook is tracked. Now understand this, that Facebook tracks everything. You have no idea, okay? We are living in the day and age of Skynet from Terminator, okay? But it's cool if you know how to use it properly. It became, it's a significant advantage. Instead of being afraid of it, learn to embrace it and use it, you know, use your powers for good as opposed to what, you know, they did in Terminator. But um, it's real important that if you go through some of this stuff, you can see it. So you can you can add a bunch of interests on here. You can have people that like the Bible, uh, God, people that like Christian music, and just list, 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 and put a good one on here. Now, th this is not an ad. This is just me setting up the page. So I might put take the time, five minutes, to go through and put everything in there that I might think is relevant. Now, if you, again, it offers languages, too. So if you're not an English-speaking church, you could put in Spanish or, or Korean or whatever it might be. That, uh, that does does this, okay? So anyhow, this was very simple to set this up right here. Now, again, you can skip it or save it, but I think it's important to cover some of those things uh, as we save it. Now that I've saved it, um, my page is up. I mean, that's how, that's how quickly you can have a page up. However, this is not so good right here, um, so I'm gonna have to add a cover photo. Now, I've, I've already made a cover photo, so I'm gonna upload one that I already have uh, that was in my downloads, City Church Group. I open it and I'll show you in uh, one of the other ones how to make uh, these images so that they're perfect all right I like this now if I if a lot of times people they don't uh, put properly sized images in here that drives me nuts uh, you know considering I think the 
uh, what do you call it, ADD, ADHD or OCD or whatever it is that, uh, you know, if I see one tilted or whatever, it drives me nuts. But you, you put it in here, you can cancel it. If you don't like this photo, you can, you know, re-upload a new one and you can just click save. And now that you've gotten, you've gotten it saved like this over here, I would probably change that image uh, as my profile picture because it doesn't necessarily fit. I just made a screenshot of that. So really, that's how simple it is to get your page up, okay? So now our page is up. We're now gonna go through and give it a little bit of love uh, to make it uh, a little more um, relevant. And like I said, you gotta put a lot of information in here, okay? So uh, those are the basics. You can go in here and you can go up the top here. You're gonna notice that it's got messages, notifications, insights, publishing tools, and settings. Maybe I'll do another video on some of these uh, separately. But settings, let's talk about settings, okay? Because this is maybe where you're gonna need to go uh, fairly soon and so on, okay? Now, if you look, you've got, this page is not added to favorites. I could add that. You can go through any number of these things um, that you want to turn on or off, okay? A lot of them you can. You can turn off notifications, messaging, okay? That's if uh, somebody's sending you messages. And again, if you wanted to edit page, let me click on this one to edit page. And you'll notice on the edit page button, it's gonna give you a lot of different options on here, on settings, photos, abouts, likes, how you can manage those, separate them, put them in different places and so on, okay? But uh, let me go back to general. And I wanna to talk to one other, uh, one thing here is page rolls. Let me blow that up for you right here, page rolls. Now what page rolls are, this is probably the other thing that you're gonna need, is if you have, um, if you have a business that has maybe a few employees, you're going to maybe want to add people on here or maybe you just you're going to outsource this you set your page up and then you get busy you're going to go build your ministry you're going to build your business you don't need you don't want to be on facebook all day trying to figure this out what you do with page rolls is you can go there click on it and then you can assign people uh, to work on your page for you they're basically become admins now you can also add them as uh, levels of administrator to the point that uh, you know, if you look at where you can type in their information, you can make them a, just an editor, a moderator. So what a moderator would be, let me pull these up for you. A moderator would be just somebody that you know, when somebody makes a post on there, they see if it's a positive post, negative post, they can respond to it because you're out building your company uh, or your or your ministry. You can hire people or do it yourself if you wanted, uh, or you can do this yourself. Obviously, any of these things if you're the full admin. But let's say you hired an outside advertising uh, agency or you want somebody just to have access to that, don't want them touching your page, don't want to mess up stuff, you click on advertiser and that's going to give them the access to be just an advertiser. And you can add them to your Facebook account when it comes to advertising and so on. Uh, same with an analyst, that's somebody that's going to go through and check to make sure everything's working. Um, most of the time you would get somebody, if they're going to look at it, up to the level of editor that way they can go in and, and, and maybe make a few tweaks here and there. But if it's somebody you totally trust, it's a it's somebody you're, you, that you don't want anything to do with this, you want them to take over the whole thing, you can make them a full-blown admin and uh, you know they're, they're good to go and they will have access to everything that you're seeing here. And you know if there's you can you can hire admins uh, either locally or you can you can outsource a lot of this stuff that I'm showing you to have admins go in and do that hire people. There's plenty of people now that are that are getting up to speed on that. Okay, so what I would then do is so now I've kind of I got my page set up. Let's go take a look at it right here. You can see at the top left corner we've got our page again. We're going to look at it and uh, double check to see everything's good. I like the picture. I like that. Okay, so basically our page is set up. And, and we're up and running and we're ready to go. Now, uh, one other thing here, let me touch on this, is it says add a button. Okay, add a button, when I click on that, it's gonna give me some options here of some things that I can uh, add, okay? Now, what each one of these means is if you do this, if you just roll your mouse over it, it's gonna say book, our ser book now, start order, and other options, okay, book our services. This might be something that you're, you've developed a fan page for that's just a, uh, a service like a massage, uh, your, your massage service, your massage business, uh, that you and you're letting people go right on there and they can click on it if they went and they found your posts, they can click right on there and they can book your services. Get in touch with us. This is primarily, if I had a church, this is the one I would look at. I can have people call now, contact, send a message, sign up, uh, send an email, things like that. Let's say uh, contact us. So if I wanted them to go to a website, I'd click contact us. I don't think that's the relevant one. Um, call now, and I would put the church's phone number there, 
and then they're good to go and then you just say add button so we're gonna put in 800 um, 777 897 or 8765 add the button okay and boom and you see that it actually tells it tells you what to do now um, what's nice about uh, this too with these call to actions on here is if you were to look at your your fan page on a mobile device if they're scrolling down and they see the call now and they click on it almost every mobile device so if I have an iPhone like I do and I went through your your page and I saw it I could just click boom right there and I got an instant action on that so it's, it's, it's kind of like you literally almost created your own you did create your own landing page here without having to be very technical and Facebook wants you on here okay now a couple other things and we're done with this video I try not to make each video too long but uh, you know we're got we got to start out correctly and like I said hopefully you stopped and started a queue most of these are pretty self-explanatory and everything like that but the next thing you would want to do is begin to populate your page with some relevant content okay so um, maybe you would put in your photo let's uh, let's say we're gonna upload a photo and this photo is gonna be of our city church group okay and I would write something like so I put this in here and I'm gonna say come join us weekly services 10 a.m. And 12 p.m. Sunday. Period. Okay. So I've got that here. I've got my image that's going to go with it. I would also recommend that you always put a, a link in here. Now, here's real, real important. Something you, you anytime you ever put a link on on uh, online that you want to make sure people click on it, always put the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash then the web address you don't have to put www in anymore by the way but uh, what did I city church group dot com and hashtags allow you to basically search stuff quick um, local church local, hashtag local church services and hashtag all are welcome okay so I basically put a little information a picture that would go through somebody's newsfeed blah 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 and I click publish takes a second or two and boom if you scroll down there it is um, well that was actually the upload of the photo where'd it go oh I gotta refresh this page sorry go here refresh the page and there it is okay so this was my very first post come join us for our weekly services and so on okay so real simple on setting up your fan uh, setting up your fan page and uh, you know you can go through and make some edits make some changes and so on and I'll probably give you a little more detail in a couple of the other videos but uh, hopefully you got something out of this one and now that you're set up let's talk about some other stuff on how to get traffic to your website because that's where the rubber meets the road if you have a great website uh, great company, great business, but nobody knows about it. That is no good. So let's go to the uh, next video. Thanks.